Your word is blingitude. Definition, please. Blingitude is a girl's BFF, A-E-A-E. -E. Before Haley Steinfeld would receive an Academy Award nomination for her first major film role in True Grit and take over Tinseltown appearing in Ender's Game, Three Days to Kill, The Edge of Seventeen, and Pitch Perfect 2 and 3. You are my flashlight. Before Haley would clock in almost 1 million Twitter followers, over 7.4 million Instagram followers, and 2.4 million YouTube subscribers at the time of this recording. Before Haley would be linked to dating Justin Bieber, Austin Mahone, Shawn Mendes, Douglas Booth, Jack Antonoff, Cameron Smolder, and would April Fools the world that she was pregos with Joe Jonas's love child. But the best part was that neither one of us chose to say April Fools. So, and so, um, oh really? Oh, April Fools. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're a little bit late with the April Fools, but congratulations. Thanks. Before Haley would transition over to becoming a pop singer with her singles "Love Myself," "Starving," "Most Girls," and be inducted into Taylor Swift's Bad Blood Squad as the Trinity. Do you intend on making your lyrics so sexual? And then starving, it says, "I didn't know I was starving because I tasted you." Mm-hmm. I intentionally do all of that. You do. <laughs> Haley was just 13 years old when she first broke into Hollywood, wowing critics and taking home awards. She quickly transitioned into becoming a quadruple threat actress, singer, social media star, and a model. Despite all this, some little punk back in her elementary school used to bully her by calling her house every day at 7.02 AM on the dot. What a prick. Well, she's made new friends since, rubbing shoulders with the biggest names in Hollywood, and is well on her way of taking over Tinseltown. Now you guys have been requesting this video for what feels like forever. Also, there's another girl out there named Alicia who comments on practically every video that she wants me to make one on Megan Fox. Well, I got good news for you, Alicia. In 2018, I promise I will get that done for you. But for now, we're talking about Haley Steinfeld. Not to be confused with the other guy with a similar last name. <laughs> What's going on, guys? My name is Michael Cretton, documenting the life and career of Haley Steinfeld prior to fame. Here for you on Before They're Famous. Now we've done videos on similar artists like Camila Cabello and Halsey, so be sure to check those out. And the best way to get a hold of me is via Instagram or Twitter. I'm a crudnap. Let me know who's next in the comments down below. And now, uh, here we go. <laughs> Haley Caribe Steinfeld was born on December 11th, 1996 in Tarzan, California. Now there must be something in the water from these parts of the world because it's also the birthplace of the lovely Blake Lively. Now Haley's last name might be a giveaway that she's of Jewish descent, but she's also Russian and Romanian. On top of this, she has Filipino and African American ancestry from her grandmother and a Euro cocktail of English, German and Irish ancestry from her grandmother. Her father Peter is a personal trainer and her mother Sherry, an interior designer. She also has an older brother Griffin, who today is a NASCAR driver. Lucky kids. Her maternal great uncle is actor Larry Domison, who is the brother of Haley's maternal grandfather. You might, but probably don't, remember him in the 1960s classic Fun in Al Capoco, starring Elvis Presley. There's no good. He should work when he is so steep. I take you now to make sure he don't. I got a feeling I'm heading for disaster. Her cousin True O'Brien is also an actress, currently working on Days of Our Lives. I loved him. Why? Why couldn't you just leave us alone? Why was that too much? Growing up, Haley took ballet lessons and was a cheerleader for eight years. Her parents would move around the Hollywood Hills, going from Tarzana to Agora Hills, and then to Thousand Oaks. This resulted in young Haley attending multiple schools. She transferred from Ascension Lutheran School to Conjo Elementary, and then to Colina Middle School, but dealing with new schools, Haley found herself the victim of bullying had a lot of social issues in school. I didn't necessarily find my groove quick enough and, and I felt, I mean, I was confused a lot of the time. It was at eight years old that Haley would find her true passion after seeing her cousin, True O'Brien, appear in a television commercial. My cousin would come up on the TV and I would just start freaking out and, and to see somebody that, you know, I know do something like that really mm -hmm. made me believe that it was possible that I could do it. Now Haley begged her parents to take acting classes, but they thought that she would give up after a few weeks, so they told her she would have to do it for an entire year. Well at the end of that year, she ended up getting an agent, got some headshots, and then she was signed with Coast to Coast and got her first modeling job with The Gap. She then started appearing in commercials of her own. 
Take that, True O'Brien. Next up, she started to appear in short films where she would gain her experience, and she played the role of Talila Alden in She's a Fox. This was back in 2009. What else? Talia was a master at spelling using sign language. As her career was taking off, Haley was dealing with some horrendous bullying back at school. She told Seventeen Magazine, There was a period of time where every morning at 7.02, I get a prank phone call at my house. That's how I'd start every day, with a threat. Someone saying, come to school now, we're gonna kick your butt. Her parents did what they could to try and track down the little prankster, but eventually it was decided that, well, Haley, she'd be homeschooled. Although her dad's like totally buff, you think the kid would've been scared enough? Regardless, it turns out it was the best situation for young Haley because her career was taking off and she was about to snag her big break. Paramount Pictures is set to hold open castings for a 12 to 17 year old girl for the upcoming western film called True Grit. Haley's first edition for True Grit took place on the lot of Paramount and was an open call, meaning any girl the right age could take a shot at the job. She was given 15 pages of dialogue and put on camera. She recalls it being a nerve wracking experience, but all of a sudden she was being moved forward to audition for the casting director and then the Coen brothers. In the end, she beat out 1,500 other hopefuls for the role of Maddie Ross and would be starring alongside Jeff Bridges, Josh Brolin, and Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Her dedication to them acting classes was certainly paying off because all of a sudden she was receiving a slew of nominations, including an Oscar nod. You have misjudged me if you think I'm silly enough to give you $50 and watch you simply write off. I'm a boned U.S. Marshal. That wastes but little with me. I will see the thing done. I've been deducted. Five months after True Grit was released, Haley became the new face of the Italian designer brand Mio Mio. In 2011, she would go on to be cast as Juliet in the 2013 adaption of Romeo and Juliet, a role that was auditioning for actresses in their 20s, but they gave her the gig when she was just 14. But if you swear you may prove false, they say that Jove does laugh at lovers' perjuries. Again, her performance would receive stellar views, so the roles kept coming her way. Next, she would appear in Ender's Game in 2013 with Harrison Ford, and this movie received, again, positive reviews. She appeared next in the short film The Magic Bracelet, and then she was in Three Days to Kill in 2014. There was Hate Ship, Love Ship in 2013, and then in 2015, she landed the role of Emily Junk in Pitch Perfect 2. After Pitch Perfect 2, Republic Records were so impressed with her singing, well they signed her to a record deal that would start by re-releasing her song Flashlight from the movie as a precursor to her first major release. She would go on to make her first debut EP album on November 15, 2015 under the name Hayes, which is a nickname she has for her fans. Her lead single Love Myself would gain massive media attention for being empowering and having an uplifting message. It would also be the subject to public relations frenzy as it became known as an anthem about self love. And back in the day, I actually reported on this new story. So certainly she is a one woman party, but I'm not sure masturbation is exactly what she's speaking about, or is it? I don't know, we are talking about her, maybe that's what's working for her. Amidst all that controversy, the song would still become a top 40 on the Billboard 100, and there is plenty more work coming her way. It was her work in the 2016 film The Edge of 17, which would earn her a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actress in a Motion Picture, Comedy or Musical. There was also her induction into Taylor Swift's Bad Blood Squad, which happened that same year. Actually, no, it happened in 2015. In terms of her love life, Haley has been linked to many male celebrities, one of which is Joe Jonas, after he tweeted out a picture of a sonogram announcing that they were expecting their first child. It turns out this was an ill-planned April Fool's joke. Plus, everyone knows them Jonas boys, they still be wearing them promise rings. To themselves, right? Haley was also linked to Justin Bieber back in her earlier days, but both have made it clear that they're just friends. Haley was dating Douglas Booth in 2013, following their work on Romeo and Juliet, but have since broken up. And Haley is currently dating Cameron Smoller, and uh, she's been with him since 2016. Now I'm not entirely sure why this kid's famous, but I do know a guy who makes bios on people, so you can figure that out. As for the rest of the story. Well, you know the story because this is before they're famous. My name is Michael McCred and we make all sorts of bio videos for your view on this channel. We've done over a thousand. Can you believe it? <clears throat> no wonder I'm sick. We're working hard here. So let us know who you want us to document next for 2018 in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in another video. Go! Amidst all the comments.
controversy, this song would become a top 40 hit. Oh, I farted. <laughs>